this 10k so today we are at Telok Blanga as you can see Telok Blanga MRT is around there so it's on a weekday evening so I'm actually here like one hour before closure and I uh, actually uh, went inside and did some prayers and it's amazing it's pretty amazing so but first we should actually do the, uh, the entrance so if you can see uh, there's a few deities out there uh, these are the Qi Xian Guo Hai so there's actually seven of them around here if you can see and uh, apparently I cannot take any video footage inside okay so uh, I'm not gonna go inside right now uh, and then I'm just gonna look at the direction so according to the direction you're actually facing towards the south which means the entrance is actually facing the south and when you're looking outside it's actually facing the south and when you're looking inside it's actually the uh, north so for that uh, uh pretty interesting so uh you can have a look up here and in terms of the size itself i think it's not that big uh so i went in i think i'm the only one who actually went inside and uh what's interesting is that uh there's a lot of deity inside it's a bit messy but they have a guide so in fact one of the stuff i check out with them they gave me a guide and uh, I want to take photo but I try not to take photo because uh, inside they mentioned that we shouldn't be uh, taking any kind of photos and I think could be due to the COVID restrictions we were not able to you know uh, take any photos and I, th I think I, I want to sh move on but yeah so I went in I asked the staff they were they were quite surprised uh, that you know uh, that we visited and we I asked quite a number of questions but they were quite patient okay not sure you can hear they were quite patient with uh, the questions I asked and roughly go through with me ask me to look around so apparently when there is uh, okay actually there is over there you can see so it seems like uh, uh, what I love about it is that you can go around and there's nobody looking at you you're minding your own business you're doing your own prayers just a bit uh, different okay there so I missed out that last one. So what is special about this temple is called Tikong Biu. So it's like a Tian Kong Miao. So apparently there's an incense there, incense uh, pot there. Okay, so there's one like under Tian Kong and Heaven. So apparently he mentioned that Tian Kong and Heaven is different to a certain extent, and there's a mixture of. Buddhism and Taoism within the temple so most of the temple in Singapore is roughly more or less quite mixed already and here is uh, pretty good after you go you take a walk okay I'm just gonna walk and uh, make sure you guys around here and, and then roughly what's inside for here okay I'm not gonna go inside so uh, there's a rough view inside Okay, so I'm just going to be walking to Mount Faber right now since we are actually pretty near Mount Faber going to have a quick walk around there so uh, yeah so inside have a various deity and uh, I think pretty interesting we have Hua Tuo inside Hua Tuo if you're not sure it's actually the romance of the Three Kingdom I don't think that's a book Three Kingdom I would say so there's Hua Tuo there's Guan Yu called Guan Di I heard he actually upgraded should be Guan Sun already so uh, yeah so there is also the Yue Lao inside which is uh, pretty interesting so uh, with Yue Lao uh, it's actually for those who are actually looking for relationship I think it was mentioned here <laughs> but I think it's that I, maybe I saw the wrong uh, the wrong uh, pictures so yeah, there is a uh, Yue Lao inside, Hua Tuo inside, Confucius inside, and also a variety. So, in fact, most of the temple when you're going to visit, you are praying to you know the outside 
or the sky because that's where they pray the Tian Kong. But this temple, what is unique is that the Tian Kong is uh, inside. So you pray to it directly uh, considering the Tian Kong, which is uh, pretty impressive. And then uh, <laughs> there's also explanation in terms of English and Chinese. So uh, pretty good if you are new. Okay. Uh, I think the crop wise is not that much. Okay. So uh, maybe it's due to COVID restriction. But um, other than that, I think it's pretty decent. It's open at 6 pm, I think, every day. So uh, good for those who actually have the time to make it down to uh, do their prayers. I can see that uh, it's pretty near the neighborhood and train station. So after right there, you can actually do <laughs> your own hiking adventures. Yeah. So uh, overall, I think it's quite nice. The people and the staff are quite pleasant. They are willing to entertain me. Uh, I am very lost. I go inside like a lost ship, but uh, roughly they go through with me. And I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, what is impressive about the temple is that each of the in front of each of the deity there is a, a description. Most of them have description, but not all. For maybe the popular one, they have descriptions where you can actually describe uh, where they describe the name of deity as well as the story uh, and also some description for your understanding. So. I think uh, overall, you know, it's something that uh, is good for people to go to various temples. So sometimes when I go, I don't know how to pronounce or read in Chinese. Uh, this is uh, pretty good uh, for starter-wise. Yeah, and in fact, there's one more temple over there, pretty near. So there's two, there's one here, and then there's one over there. But I think for this timing, it's going to be pretty late. But I'm just gonna have a quick look before I head towards, you know, uh, the Mount Faber itself. So, yep. So I hope this review is pretty good. And we got hold of the entrance. It's actually facing south. And inside, look inside, it's facing north. So, so far we've been looking at the entrance. And when they talk about Feng Shui, it's only the four directional. In fact, the four major, north, south, east, west. And not to mention that north, south, east, west, and so on. So, we got it. And we're gonna continue to explore around Singapore and try to obtain the location uh, of all temples. So, uh, this one, I think, if you're new to it, it's a pretty good uh, opportunity for you to actually explore and uh, hopefully understand more about the culture. Uh, as for the monument, it, all of them seems pretty new. And Probably they do painting or they are roughly pretty new. Yeah. So yep, yeah, that's all. Stay tuned. Then case signing off.